years ago, a great committee, some of whom you'll meet, uh, got together and uh, conceived Rome the Tomes, which was a new way of looking at the library. It was so good that we decided it's not something you want to try to do every year, so we sort of let the field lie fallow a bit for one year, and then we're back this year to, to do it again. We're sure it'll be as big a smash as it was in 2012. Terrific event. We kind of took the library and glammed it up and made it into a sort of special, twinkly, sparkly place for the night. We all love to go to a, a fun party and, and hang out and talk to people and stuff, but we thought we would do something special to show off the library a little better. For us, the event is a, is a major way to fund new initiatives in the library. This year what we're going to be doing is trying to fund what's called a creator library. The first really event of its kind that the library's ever had, the library needs to raise money. One wouldn't maybe expect that in a town department, but actually the town only pays about 76 percent, 75 percent of the total cost of the library. They pay for the building, they pay for the personnel, the salaries, but the library itself through the Board of Trustees has to raise most of the money to pay for materials. A program of, of digital literacy for our community and keeping up with uh, the needs of uh, contemporary times for students and, and for adults as well. So we think this uh, effort toward the creator space is going to be an important one as the years go on for uh, not only young people but uh, older people as well to stay in contact with technology and to participate in the digitally literate society. We are very happy to have a number of what we call collections for guests to bid on and we did this a couple of years ago and it was a smashing success. We'll have probably about eight to ten auction items, getaway packages, spa items, sports themed, vacation homes, there was a tugboat cruise, a dinner catered in your home. So we are very happy to be offering a number of items again this year. A great portion of the cost of this event is defrayed by our very generous sponsors, which include individuals and many of the businesses that do business in the town. Notably, the Fruit Center will sponsor our VIP reception with Hingham resident and well-known Boston Globe columnist Kevin Cullen. Our special guest for this event is going to be Kevin Cullen, Metro columnist for the Boston Globe. Kevin has been a columnist for the Globe for several years and a reporter for many years before that, really a distinguished journalist and columnist. He's going to be at the special reception ahead of time and we'll be around elsewhere in the evening and we'll, uh, we'll be participating in various events that, that happen during the evening. A fun guy, very smart, uh, very lively, and all of those who come to the reception get a chance to meet him and those who are here later as well and talk with him and you'll, they'll find he's a very engaging character and a real uh, lover of the town and the library. Sponsors who might be interested in taking a sponsorship at any of the levels that are available should contact Joan Allen in the business office uh, at the Hingham Public Library. The event is scheduled for Friday, October 3rd. It runs a private reception with Kevin Cullen from 6.30 to 7.30, catered by Kate's Table with an open bar. It's going to be just delicious and fun. The general event starts 7.30 and will go till 11 o'clock. Tickets for the private reception are $125, and the tickets to the general party and reception are $75 each. We think it's important for the community to raise its level of digital literacy, and we think the library has a, a tremendous role in, in that arena where we can provide a venue. And what we hope to be doing is developing staff and volunteers to work on a variety of digital literacy projects so that our community stands out among other communities. The one thing that really struck me was unlike some of the events that I sometimes attend, it was a really nice multi-generational crowd. There were um, all age ranges there and that was really a fun thing to kind of see all different people mixing together in support of our one commonality, which was loving the library. Tickets are available at the reference desk at the Hingham Public Library, and they'll go on sale on Tuesday, September 2nd. Last year, this event sold out, so it's important to please get your tickets and come and join us for all this fun. It's more than a fundraiser. Rome the Tomes is a way of bringing the entire community together around a treasure in the town that everyone enjoys and everyone loves. It gives you a great feeling to come. and. 
you will really, as the slogan says, uh, see the library in a whole new way. So we hope you'll come.